Oh my god, hey. It's me. I'm back again. Happy to be recording again. It's been great. First order of business, we went from 120 subscribers to like 600 in like six days what how when where did you all come from thank you for being here i don't know what to say if i'm being honest you all kind of just came out of nowhere and were thirsting over my oc in my most recent shorts video that video has got almost like 90 or 100k on it as i'm recording this so that's absolutely fucking insane thank you all for being here and deciding to stay and subscribe it makes me really happy to see people appreciating my content even if it's just like a silly 10 second video so this video this speed paint is um of a few other original characters of mine these ones are sci-fi space themed as opposed to the super villain themed so this one is Aliens, spaceships, robots, space stuff. I thought since my other original character was doing kind of well, I thought that I might introduce some of the other ones and their stories as well. I'd like to mention that before I start rambling, these characters and their stories aren't fully fleshed out yet, as are many of my characters. So most if not some some if not most of all of this information is probably going to change at some point this is just like the rough official draft of it i guess so the first character you have going in order of the speed paint is um x2021 or zenith my little my little girly pop my sweetie pie my baby girl if you will in this sort of universe and world they are an enhanced human being and enhanced human being is basically a test tube baby grown in like a vat of liquid and genetically modified to be more physically durable and to live longer to serve in the military however as Zenus was being grown or made that part of the military was shut down due to ethics because obviously and when xena popped out of the vat they were kind of just shoved into the nearest orphanage and just left so zenith now is basically a space bounty hunter slash mercenary their job kind of tiptoes the line of illegal but don't worry guys don't worry space government is bad at their job so they get away with it with minimal murdering. Zenith owns their own ship called the First Encounter. The First Encounter is a modified transportation and scout ship. Zenith bought it for cheap and fancied it up a bit with some swanky new upgrades. They're very tech savvy like that. Um, they make their own laser weapons, they do repairs and upgrades by themselves. It's giving boy boss. <laughs> their um, ship is registered with the ISF the intergalactic space force the name is subject to change and basically the isf tracks whether people are like if they're licensed to pilot a ship how the like ship license like piloting license thing works is that basically in every place where there is like a large amount of like people living there will be there will usually be like a small military base and usually the military base has like a like a program where they'll take citizens and they'll like give them a license or like train them to fly ships and stuff the next one that you'll see in just a moment in the video is um 5h 3 l or shell fun fact when making shell i could not for the life of me decide what shell was going to look like or even what his final name would be you'll see like a like a small glimpse of it while i'm drawing it here but he looks wildly different like his first design looked wildly different to what i designed for him now his colors his colors were like orange and black and white and he was more of like a humanoid android than like a boxy robot like as you can see i wanted him to look more like 
classic robot but I also wanted him to look more android and I think I got confused so I just decided when I was making this if he's he's gone full robot full box man so his story um a long time ago back when humans still predominantly lived on earth um shell was the domestic housekeeper robot for a lovely family of three there were two very high ranking breadwinning parents and one very sweet child who loved the ocean hence the nickname shell the lore on what happens next i haven't fully figured that out yet but basically shell manages to get a hold of some top secret information and the parents shove him into a secret vault where he eventually shuts down and hundreds of years go by and one day zenith gets a call from their bounty hunting boss friends and is told to go to this vault and retrieve this information. Zenith finds Shell's shut down body, gives him a little polish and shine, and now Shell is awake again with no recollection of this secret information, but the bad space government still wants him, and Zenith is like, nah, -uh. then essentially takes Shell and just starts running. Slay. So Shell's personality is basically very wide-eyed, experiencing the new world a hundred years or so into the future. Because he's sort of like a housekeeper robot, he has a tendency to kind of just clean up any mess that's there. And since Zenith is kind of a messy person, but it's like an organized mess, they clash a little bit in that department. Shell's kind of aloof and like not distant but like ditzy like they have their head in the clouds a bit they're really smart though like book smart but like socially he's a dumbass back when he was living with his old family he had a very close relationship with the child like a very close familial bond and and because of that he has an extremely large database purely dedicated to ocean facts and research as well as like photos of the family like family photos like of the parents the kid and all of them together this is also this next part slightly unrelated to shell um but one of the characters i say um that are not featured in this speed paint is little buddy he's a little he's a little scavenging robot little buddy i haven't drawn him yet but he's basically either either a little octopus robot or a jellyfish a little jellyfish robot um because of like the multiple limbs or like tentacles it's really good for scavenging because they just really get in there and start ripping things apart little buddy was made by eden as a gift to zenith now zenith has full custody of little buddy also, Little Buddy, Little Buddy is the name of that octopus jellyfish robot guy, and it's not changing. That is the only thing that is not changing about anything in this video is the name of Little Buddy. Little Buddy lives on. Little Buddy also has like a custom paint job by Xena. It's like neon splatters and like the yellow and black caution tape. Little Buddy's also got like a little cushion bed. Even though they're a fucking robot, they don't need it. But Zenith is a, a got really attached and is a baby, so the robot's gotta have a little bed. And also, what I like about Shell and Little Buddy is that Little Buddy is like an octopus or a jellyfish, and um, with Shell, there's a lot of like ocean fact, like the ocean database, and like the kid who likes the ocean. So it kind of ties together like a like a silly little easter egg all these all these ocean easter eggs <laughs> shell and little buddy basically become like besties they have like you know those like ai chess matches where like you can fight against an ai it's it's basically that but just two two artificial intelligences really duking it out it's an it's an epic battle as to who gets to help Zenith pilot the ship. 
an epic fight for the ages to see who gets to be Zenith's best friend for the day. Another thing that's really important, or not important, but like something that I want in their story is that Shell like meets another android like a like a modern version of himself and i don't know what if i want it to be like dramatic and emotional or like not that serious the idea is that um the modern android is more human like they have more like range of expression and they like have more human characteristics while shell is kind of this boxy very clearly not human robot who is still like very bound to his original programming as like a domestic housekeep if you catch my drift okay so the last one the last character eden you wanna you wanna talk about people who are girly pop? He is it. Eden is an alien. His species think ninja turtles, but rabbits on steroids who are like eight feet tall, <laughs> like eight to ten feet tall. Eden is a bounty hunter as well. He actually used to be Zenith's partner before they had a very dramatic and emotional falling out slash betrayal and now it's like a friends to lovers to enemies kinds of thing yeah it's i've thought about this so much edith is around eight feet tall and his design is also subject to change because at the moment i don't know about it i, I feel a bit off about it for someone who's supposed to be an alien he looks he just looks a bit too human for me as I've drawn him here. If you kind of if you kind of get what I mean. His design might stay like this, it might change. I'm probably gonna make him look more like an actual rabbit on two legs, if you kind of get what I mean. The only thing that will not change about Eden is their giant ears and their massive ego. Eden has their own ship as well. Their ship is ironically called the greyhound because greyhounds used to hunt rabbits and it's he's a he's a rabbit i'm so funny i'm absolutely hilarious so the greyhound eden ship um it's called the greyhound because it's very slim and is mostly silver and gray it's built for speed like a greyhound and is a like a fighter jet so it's, it's built for speed and it's got really fast, really good weaponry on it. Because Eden's whole thing when they're doing their bounty hunter thing is get in, get out. As quickly as possible with minimal shooting. As I said before, um, Zenith and Eden used to be kind of involved with each other. Like I said, friends to lovers to enemies. Zenith has like a massive grudge against Eden for this dramatic and epic falling out slash betrayal I've totally got planned already. Anyway, that's um, pretty much it. At the moment, I'm pretty content with how all the story and their backstories are, as well as their like appearance and like design, except for Eden. Eden, he's probably going to be changed if I'm being honest. And other than that, that's pretty much it. So if you have any suggestions as to what can be changed, or if you have any suggestions on how I can make Eden look more alien, other than the obvious, then I would be absolutely happy to hear it. But um, that's all I've got at the moment. Thank you for being here and listening to my mindless rambling. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and if you have any feedback as well, please comment, let me know. Like I said at the beginning, one of my shorts is being really good, so if you're, if you if you can't, if you got here from my shorts, definitely go look at my TikTok because there's more there. There's more there, and it's more frequent. The final images of this will be posted on my 
Twitter and my Instagram. Those would be linked in the description. And if you feel like being an absolute lad and supporting me further, you can go to my Ko-fi and give me like, I think it's donate like set like three three dollars. Did check it, but I forgot. So I'm pretty sure it's currently set at three dollars. Three like Australian dollars. I don't know how much that is in other currencies, but three Australian dollars. Yeah, but if you enjoyed this video and this content, please let me know. Let me know how I can improve. I'd really like some feedback and thank you for being here. Um, please consider sticking around. So that's it. Bye. <laughs>